Hello all and welcome, and I am the MGTOW Philosopher, and in this video I would like to talk about the end of civilization as we know it, which has been coming for a long time, and it's finally arrived. Here we have a story from none other than the New York Times. Yes, the New York Times that is losing about $60, $70 million a year, but somehow manages to keep its doors open, even though it's losing so much money. I wonder why, how they're able to do that. How does a business that makes no money but actually loses $60, $70 million a year stay open? Huh. I'll let you figure that one out. I think it's pretty obvious. <laughs> but anyway, it posted this horrid story. This is a very recent, June 1st, 2017, entitled, How to Raise a Feminist Son. Let me say it again. How to Raise a Feminist Son. Now, for those of you out there who can't translate, let me do it for you. It's entitled How to Raise a Feminine Son. Because feminist is really about feminine when it comes to its treatment of men. It's about flipping the script and making men more feminine and men, women more masculine. And, but it's all about the empowerment of women and the disenfranchisement of men. So it should say feminine. And it goes on to say in the title, we raise our girls to fight stereotypes and pursue their dreams, but we don't do the same for our boys. <laughs> so uh, let me uh, paraphrase. So what it's really saying is we raise our girls to fight the stereotypes of what girls should be like, and we raise our boys to, write to fight the stereotypes because they're all social constructs, of course, of how a boy should actually boy be. So a boy shouldn't be strong. A boy shouldn't be independent. No, a boy shouldn't be a boy. A boy should be something else. He should be a feminine. Yes. Let's get into what I can already tell is a piece of crap just by this piece of crap hand drawing black and white piece of crap. So the art article begins with, we're now more likely to tell our daughters they can be anything, which is a lie. They want to be an astronaut bullshit <laughs> and a mother. Well, they can be that. A tomboy. Why? Why, 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 why would you want to be a tomboy and a girly girl? But we don't do the same for our son. <sighs> yes, we do. They can be anything. They can be anything, but they can't be girls. They don't be Tom girls. They're not, there's not Tom girls because Tom is a boy's tape. What do you want him to be? A, a, a Vanessa boy or a Jennifer boy uh, or a Jennifer girl? What, 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 what do you want him to be? You want, to, you want, you want what? You want to give boys the freedom to be feminine as well? That's total BS. Do you want the world to continue? Do you want the world to continue and live on? Because men are the ones to do that. And male qualities and male traits and what you call toxic, toxic masculinity is what makes the world continue. If you want to destroy the world, well, go ahead and destroy that toxic masculinity. Go ahead and destroy boys and men. You do that, the world dies, okay? You get rid of girly girl or a time boy, it's not going to make a goddamn difference because the girls, by and large, don't have a goddamn thing to do with continuing the world except acting as easy bake ovens for new babies. Yeah, that's real hard. You get inseminated with some sperm, and then nine months pass. That's about as much as women contribute to the world. So let a woman pursue any hobbies and act however the hell she wants to act. In the end, it's irrelevant. Not the same with boys. Even as we've given girls more choices for the roles they play. <laughs> Wasn't boys were worlds are still confined? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Yeah, you're contradicting yourself, you feminist cunt. I thought your reasons for becoming a feminist was because boys had all the options available to them in the world, all the choices available, and women had none. Now suddenly you're changing your tune? Suddenly you're changing your tune? Of course, it's convenient for you. It's convenient for you to do that. Your argument changes with whatever argument is convenient for you to give. So at one point, oh, no, boys had everything, women had nothing. And now that you've achieved some kind of parity, which actually you've achieved superiority, now you're saying that boys somehow have less choices. Less choices. Well, if boys have less choices, you know why they have less choices? Because of feminism, you idiot. Because of the disenfranchisement of men, you fool. They're discouraged from having interests that are considered... Here it is. Ah, I said it, didn't I? They're discouraged from having interests that are considered feminine. I said it. I've said it. I said it all along. All feminism is about is making women into men and men into women. I've said that since the beginning. And I'm right. Thank you for proving my point, you New York Times cuckolds, you. Bullshit. Goes on to say they're told to be tough at all costs or else to tamp down their so-called boy energy. Boy energy? 
<laughs> Is it, isn't that a good thing? Don't you want him to be more feminine? Now you just contradicted yourself, you dumb bitch. And by the way, the only people telling them to tamp down their boy energy are their feminist teachers and their feminist mommies and daddies. If we're going to create an equitable society, you mean equitable in the law? Because we already have equality of opportunity. We cannot have equality of outcome and call ourselves equal. Because equality of outcome is about one group or groups being favored over others, you idiot. That's, that's, that's not equality. One in which everyone can thrive. We do have that already, you idiot. We need to also give boys more choices. No, oh, you mean make boys into eunuchs. Turn them into easy to manipulate puppets. They're discouraged from having interests that are considered feminine. Yeah, 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 right. That's right. Good for, yeah, that's right, because we need men. We don't need women. And we need them to be men and manly. Not cuckold pussies. Oh, Gloria Steinem. Oh, my God. It's Gloria Steinem. So you're quoting Gloria Steinem, the biggest bitch in the world who's ruined the world. This woman is responsible for more death and destruction than anybody else as far as feminism goes. Jesus Christ, this woman has just <laughs> single-handedly she has deconstructed so much of Western society. Yeah, you were going to quote this cunt. I'm glad we've begun to raise our daughters more like our sons. Ah! Ah! I've been saying it all along. Gloria Steinem is saying exactly what I've been saying, but she thinks it's a good thing. Feminism is all about making women into men. I'm glad we've begun to raise our daughters more like our sons. Really? Why? Why? Oh, because feminism is bad? Or feminist qualities are bad, you mean? Eh, feminism is bad, too. But she should... <laughs> but it will never work until we raise our sons more like our daughters. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boys have to be more like girls. Girls have to be more like boys. Why? Why? Oh, wait. <laughs> I love it. So, I don't understand. Why is it important for men to be more feminine and women to be more masculine uh, is there some reason that femininity oh, oh i see equality so men and women both have to be more balanced creatures so the argument for feminism is essentially that at least in this case what they're arguing is that boys have too much masculinity women have too much femininity and we need to balance things out through social engineering uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Very, very, very interesting and why do you think this <laughs> Wasn't the world working just fine until you people messed it all up with these stupid ideas? And it goes on to say that's because women's roles can't expand if men's don't too. Oh, oh <laughs> is that so? Is that so? Hmm. So wait a second, wait a second. So isn't the reason that you ladies created this feminist nonsense to begin with is because men had all the options available to them and you had nothing? Well, what happened? Men suddenly have less options now than they did before. Uh, but wouldn't that be because of feminism and <laughs> your efforts to equalize everybody by creating programs that essentially hobble men and make them unable to compete uh, at their own level and, and brings them down to the level of women and takes away opportunities to give them to women? So isn't the advent of feminism the reason and your solution is more feminism? <laughs> What? <laughs> Unbelievable. It goes on to say that men are falling behind in school and work because of feminism. And boys are not succeeding in the new pink economy. So your solution is to make them more pink. You, by the way, you're already raising men and cucking them. You're already raising them and making them into pussies. You've already feminized them. And now your solution <laughs> is, is, is not only to make the society more feminine, where they'll actually have less options available, the more feminist it becomes, but... <laughs> you're, you're advocating the very thing that's caused the problem, but more of the same. Interesting. So the antidote to the poison is more poison. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Interesting logic, okay. <laughs> skills like cooperation, empathy, and diligence. What? Women don't have those skills. That's all a lie. None of that's true. This is just feminist tropes that have been repeated again and again and again as per the requirements of critical theory to make people believe that these are skills women possess when they actually don't. If you want to know what women are really like, just essentially look at the opposite of everything that feminists are saying. All you need to do is look at the opposite of what they're saying and you will know what women are really like. They have no empathy. Have you ever seen women try to work together? It's like a cat house. It's total chaos. They can't work together or get along. And empathy... 
Women don't have empathy. That requires a high level of abstract thinking, which they lack. They can't empathize with anybody. It's all about them. And diligence? <laughs> what? Oh, women can't focus on a goddamn thing unless maybe they're doing their nails. Give me a break. These are not good. Con they're considered to be feminine qualities, please. They're considered to be feminine qualities because you've been parroting that they're feminine qualities for the past 60 years to try and brainwash people. Speak a lie enough and people will believe it. They're increasingly valued in the modern day work and school and jobs, which is why you've been parroting them as female only or female dominant traits, which is very interesting because you just contradicted yourself. <laughs> you, you, you teach that everything about men and women that is considered to be male and female is just a stereotype. It's just a construct, a social construct. And now you're, <laughs> and now you're saying that these are feminine qualities. Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. If men and women are naturally equal, except for social engineering that creates these stereotypes, how in the world can these be feminine qualities? What are you talking about? More contradictions. Oh, my head's going to explode. My blood pressure is shooting up so high. Uh, 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 let's move on, shall we? Uh, uh, <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Story goes on to say in her new book, Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie, the Nigerian-born author, hey, vey, uh, gives instructions for raising a feminist daughter, but how can we raise feminist <sighs> You don't want to raise a feminist son. It's like child abuse. Oh, of course, they don't care. Oh, they don't think it's child abuse. Oh, no, it's instructing him in equality and how to achieve it. No, you're cucking him, and you're cutting him off at the knees. I asked neuroscientists, economists, psychologists, of course, because leftists and feminists, they want to take all the most current science they can find and try to use it in some way to manipulate the society, manipulate the culture, manipulate the people in it, or just try to create some bullshit name or new theory or new school or new methodology or something like feminist economics and other bullshit like that to try to add some kind of validity to their tire old, tired old arguments. Psychologists and others to answer that question based on the latest research and data we have about gender. Oh, please. I define feminist simply as someone who believes in the full equality of men and women. But didn't you just say that, that, that these specific qualities are, 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 are feminine traits and not masculine ones, thereby already admitting that we're not equal, meaning the same? Of course, all these idiot feminists don't even know what the word equal means. It just means the same. <laughs> like two pennies. They're both pennies. Same year, struck in the same way. They're both the same. You got a penny and a nickel. They're not the same. They're not equal, you idiot. That's what it means. Their advice applied broadly to anyone who wants to raise children who are kind, confident, and free to pursue their dreams. No, these are just positive buzzwords, positive buzzwords that you're trying to apply to your manipulations. It's really about making boys into girls. And by the way, isn't it interesting that women want to become men? Doesn't that mean that men are superior? I mean, you all want to become like men because it's male traits that actually made the world a better Why would you want to have fem Why would feminists create feminism to try and raise girls more like boys are being raised and try and instill more masculine traits in men if masculinity is toxic, okay? What it's really all about is penis envy. It's all about envying male traits. And women acknowledge that just through their application of feminism, and in this story, it admits it. Gloria Steinem, the queen of feminism, saying, well, we need to raise our daughters more like we raise boys, and we need to raise our boys more like we raise women, more like we raise women. So you're automatically admitting that you want women to be paramount, and the only way to do that is through masculinity. So you're already admitting that you want to be superior, and the only way to do that is to become more masculine, meaning that masculinity is superior to femininity. And you have to make men more feminine to achieve superiority to them because femininity is inherently inferior. You feminists have admitted this by your own ideology. Oh, look at this picture. Let him cry. Yeah, let him be a pussy. Teach him how to be a pussy weakling while you teach the women to be stronger and more masculine so they can take over. Brilliant. The story goes on to say, boys and girls cry the same amount when they're babies and toddlers. Isn't it interesting that the left will always use something when it's convenient for them, but they'll decry it when it's the exact same thing but used as evidence against them. So when they can use a certain phase of life as evidence for their cockamamie 
theories, they're bullshit, they will. Like this stuff about babies and toddlers. Meanwhile, when real scientists talk about how there are significant differences in how boys and girls act when they're just born, by how, for example, boys do this, uh, male babies do this, and female baby do, ba babies do that, and they act distinctly different, proving biological differences. The feminists are like, oh, that's cockamamie bullshit. But when it comes to feeding their own little narrative, oh, sure, they'll use evidence from when uh, kids are babies and toddlers, of course. Boys and girls cry the same amount when they're babies and toddlers, research shows. So what? It's around age five that boys get the message that that. No, they don't get a message. I think they develop. Their brains begin to develop, and then you begin to see the biological differences more and more as their brains develop more and more. Just like after the age of 11, boys far outstrip women in intelligence. It's the age, you idiot, and you're ascribing it to some kind of environmental factors. Boys get the message that anger is acceptable, but that, where, where do they get this message? Who's teaching them this? Their single mothers? <laughs> Who's too? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's who! The angriest people on earth! What are you talking about? If anybody's teaching them to this, that, them that, it's their single mothers. 70% of blacks are raised by single mothers. And guess what community has the highest crime rate in the country, even though they're the, one of the smallest proportions of the population? Oh, it's black people. Oh, well, mm, 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 no, no. Wait, but they're being raised by women. <laughs> I am being raised by men. They're being raised by women. And you're talking about age five. They haven't even entered school yet, so you can't blame it on other kids. Yo, idiots. Oh, yo, that's inconvenient to our narrative, so we don't look at that. Yeah, of course not, because you're morons. They're not supposed to show others their feelings. Well, wait, isn't that what anger is, showing your feelings? Oh, what are you, stupid? You just contradict yourself again, you moron. Like vulnerability. What? What are you talking about? I did, I did, I did nonsense. This is just your narrative. Show me the evidence. I want to see the evidence. Do you have any evidence? Co-founder of Call for Men in Education and Advocacy Group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have no evidence. It's just your opinion. Uh, you're just waxing on. I see. Wait, wait, wait. Our daughters are allowed to be human beings. Wait, wait, wait. wait. What, what, what? Excuse me? <laughs> if your daughters, if being a woman is the most natural. Oh, oh, so, oh, I see. So boys are not human beings. They're not human beings if they embrace masculinity. And yet, wait, 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 didn't Gloria Steinem, your, your idol, your mentor, the most wonderful, brilliant person in the world, and this article itself just in, say and endorse raising girls to be more like boys? Uh, but <laughs> now you've contradicted yourself and saying that the way boys is raised, are raised is wrong <laughs> and saying that daughters are the more acceptable form of human being. But you want them to be raised more like boys. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you talking about? You're not making sense. And our sons are taught to be robotic. Uh, the people who are taught to be robotic are the people that follow these idiotic ideologies and don't think for themselves. What you really don't want is boys thinking for themselves. That's it. Teach him that he has a full range of emotions to stop and say, I'm not angry, I'm scared, or my feelings are hurt, or I need help. Oh, that's what you think. That's what you think as a woman, and you're trying to project your thoughts and feelings as a woman onto the boy and make him more like a woman. Utter bullshit. And this is all contradictory nonsense anyway. There's no reason in even arguing any of this nonsense because every two sentences, they're contradicting what they said in the prior paragraph. Total nonsense. Gloria Steinem, my ass. She's a moron of the highest order. Continuing with these crappy-ass pictures. Give him role models, of course, but only acceptable role models. Boys are particularly responsive to spending time with role models. No, no, men. Other men. Other freaking men. Even more than girls. Research, show, research shows. I wonder why that is. There's growing evidence that boys raised in households without a father figure fair worse in behavior. Why is that, you dummies? Huh? Why is that? Because it's a man who acts like a man. If you've got a man that's like a woman, that's like having two women, you dummy. You already got enough femininity there. What you need is more masculinity to balance things out. But oh no, masculinity is evil, so we need to have a man, but the right kind of male role model who has embraced this feminine side, and yet we want to raise our girls more like boys. Wait, what? <laughs> That's contradictory. One reason, according to the economists, what the hell do economists know about raising kids? They're not psychologists. They're not even fake scientists like sociologists and social scientists who aren't even scientists. They're not even that. And Melanie, 
Wasserman is that they do not see men taking on responsibilities. Oh, no, and now we've got the whole feminist, self-serving trope bullshit of men. And this, they're, they're, now they're trying to introduce a little element of trad connery into feminism. Put men in the space of your son. Men who are taking on the responsibilities they should be. They're taking up that plow. They're pulling that plow. They're being that dutiful workhorse and sacrificing themselves for society. They're signing the social contract. Meanwhile, the mother, she ain't made a motherfucking sandwich in her life, and she is in no way fulfilling her side of the bargain. But hey, good examples for the boy, right? Totally cut, wimpy, pussy man, and a female trying to act like a man. Ooh, not sending mixed messages there or wrong messages or bad messages to that kid. No, yeah, those are real good more role models. Uh, not. Oh, boy, here we go. Give them strong female role models, too. By strong, do you mean more masculine? Well, then wouldn't it be even better for the man to actually be more masculine? Oh, no, no, no. He's naturally masculine, so he needs more femininity in him to balance things out because that's how things should be because everything's about equality, even though we know men are better because we want our women, our girls, to be raised as boys, and we prefer masculinity because that's what gets you ahead in the world. But we really don't. We want to destroy it in men, and we want to have women embrace it. So essentially, you want women to take over and be in the dominant position, and you want to cuck men into being weaklings and in the inferior position and subordinate to women. I see. Talk about the achievements of women you know and well-known women in sports. <laughs> the only woman that's well-known in sports is Ronda Rousey, okay? That's it. And for ages, women believed that she could beat up uh, uh, men. Maybe the weakest man on earth, but that's about it. Sons of single mothers usually have a lot of respect for women's account, their accomplishments as women. No, wh why? Oh, because they've been taught to, because they've been raised to hate themselves, to hate men, to be self-hating. They've been cucked from birth, you mean? Said Tim King, founder of Urban Prep Academics for Low Income. Ah, uh, 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 African-American boys. So he runs a program that's for African-American boys who are the majority of single Kids raised by single mothers in America. Well, big surprise, he's biased towards single mothers. They pay his salary. He encourages them to see other women that way. Of course he does. It's good for his pedigree. It's good for his wallet. Not good for men. Oh, but he doesn't care. He's a fucking sellout. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Let him be himself. Hilarious. What is this crap? <sighs> Let him be himself. Even as adult gender roles have merged, children's products have become more divided by gender than they were 50 years ago. Really? Uh, I don't think so. Well, <laughs> I think they've become less so. Pink princesses and blue trucks. Oh, that's such a crime. Especially since they demonstrate the actual biological differences between children as toddlers and babies choose the trucks over the pink princesses if they're men and the girls choose the princesses, even though they have no social engineering that's been programmed into them to give them any reason to make those choices, but they make the choices all the same because the differences in sexes is biological, not sociological, you pinheads, you. Not just in the toy aisle, but on cups and toothbrushes. No, one of the children just to end up aligning that way. You morons! Do you ignore all the evidence that from at least two, three days old observed differences that run right along gender roles Right along gender differences are observable. Oh, no, that's just bullshit. That's not real. Well, <laughs> maybe in your world where such a thing as evidence is subjective and you can just decide this is real and this is not real evidence based on your own feelings. But neuroscientists say children aren't born with those preferences. That's a lie. What? No. That's a lie. That's a lie. Tell me the name of the neurosciences. Tell me their names. If there are any neuroscientists saying that, they are lying. There's somebody who was a feminist who went into neuroscience so that they could have a neuroscience degree to back up their bullshit ideology. There's no reputable neuroscientist saying that children aren't born with gender preferences or preferences that are influenced by gender. That is 100% a lie. I can provide tons of evidence. They can provide zero. I guarantee you, I can provide so much evidence that this is bullshit. You would have to be a total moron not to be aware of these studies that show that children as young as three years old uh, 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 show differences in how they act, how they behave, that fit in correctly with what we know about gender differences between boys and girls. 
Until the mid-20th century, pink was the boy color. What? That's not true. And blue was for girls. What? What? Bullshit. In studies, infants have not... This, this whole piece is nothing more than a propaganda piece written by feminists, for feminists, and for idiot fools to indoctrinate them. It's nothing more than disinformation. Nothing more than that. In studies, infants have not been shown to have strong toy preferences. That's a lie. I've seen the data. I know that's a lie. And every single study that's been done of every different type of study, these differences have been shown consistently. The difference, according to researchers, emerges at the same time that children become aware of their gender around two. That's not true. How, can I, how many more times can I say this is all a lie? You have to go look for the evidence for yourself. This is all bullshit, at which point societal expectations can override innate interest. So it's all social engineering. Yet women have these traits that are inherent in women and that are feminine in nature, but that's all just a social construct. So it doesn't exist until it's constructed, but women have these inerrant, inherent traits that aren't socially constructed. What? You have just contradicted yourself again, you morons. <laughs> Goes on to say, yet longitudinal studies suggest that toy segregation has long-term effects on gender gaps in academics, spatial skills, and social skills, according to Campbell Leper. 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 You ought to call him Leper. He should be an outcast. The moron. You're an idiot. Chairman of the psychology department at the University of California. Oh, ho, ho, ho. California, I called it liberal pinhead Santa Cruz. Good Lord. Of course it wasn't some other state. It had to be California, the same stupid state that is talking about leaving the union. Oh, my God. And by the way, don't you just love this picture with a boy wearing necklaces and a woman's hat and sunglasses and lips that look like they have makeup on them? He couldn't have been in a He-Man shirt or a G.I. Joe shirt with a machine gun, with a, with a toy machine gun, could he? But wait a second, it says let him be himself. Well, what if he's being himself when he has a toy gun and is dressed up as an, a, a, a cowboy or some other macho uh, uh, outfit? Oh, no, that's to be discouraged. So you see, it's really not, it's perfectly fine to let him be himself as, himself as a fucking homo. If he's a fucking homo or, or, or a queer or some kind of transgender, well, yeah, let him be himself. But if he wants to be a man, oh, no, because masculinity is toxic, even though we need to raise our daughters to be more masculine and certain female traits such as empathy and cooperation, these are inherently female traits, even though there's no such thing as gender differences, biologically speaking, but this is inherently female, and being inherently male is evil, even though there's, these are all just social constructs. Uh, 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 what? <laughs> you feminists are so stupid, you don't even see the contradictions in your arguments. And it continues by saying, for children to reach their full potential, they need to follow their interests. Unless those interests have something to do with masculinity, of course. Traditional or not, preferably not. Of course. So let them. Oh, no, no, you don't really mean that. You mean let them as long as they're exploring their feminine side. If they want to explore their masculine side, nope, sorry, can't let you do that. The idea is not to assume that all children want to do the same things. Uh, why do you assume they don't want to? <laughs> what is this stupid shit? We always have to be contrary. We always have to introduce some kind of moral or ethical or situational relativism, don't we? Oh, no. Don't assume that all children want to do the same things, which, on the other hand, don't assume that all children don't want to do the same things. Oh, but we do assume that. <laughs> so you're making assumptions right there. But to make sure they're not limited. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. So in your estimation, not being limited means allowing them to be more feminine, but you actually want them to be more feminine. You don't want them to be masculine, but at the same time, you're saying let them be themselves. What? <laughs> Offer open-ended activities like playing with blocks of clay and encourage boys to... Say... Ah! Ah! <laughs> I'm going to shoot myself in the fucking head! And encourage boys to try activities like dress... Dress up? Dress up? As in dressing up as women? I thought you just I thought you just said let them be themselves. Why why am I encouraging specific behavior if I want them to be themselves? Oh, because you're really not talking about letting them be yourselves. You're just trying to muddy the water waters and create this relativistic atmosphere, and then you can infer, you can suggest, you can manipulate, you can push them into a pre-chosen 
your desired activity that you want them to undertake. You don't care about them being themselves. No, 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 no. You just say that to create this relativistic atmosphere. And then you'll tell them what they really should be doing, like playing dress up or art class, even if they don't seek that stuff out. I thought you just said let them be themselves, which means seeking out what they want to do. Social scientists, social scientists say there's no such thing as social sciences. Social sciences were created by the Frankfurt School, okay, to destroy Western society. They created sociology, and they created social sciences. They put the word science after social. They specifically sat down and had a little meeting where they started create, trying to create titles for how they were going to push this cultural Marxism and this socialistic agenda, and they came up with the, adding the word science after social. That's, that's it. To try and promote their theories as some kind of real science, it's all bullshit out of Columbia University and the Frankfurt School in 1933, 1934. Do your research, people. I have. It continues by saying, call out social stereotypes. Call out stereotypes. It's too bad that toy box shows all girls because I know boys also like to play with doll houses. <sighs> First of all, I remember uh, when I was a kid and... You know, if boys had anything, uh, it would be like a, uh, you know, a G.I. Joe fort or something like that or some kind of G.I. Joe toys. And, uh, you know, that's not a dollhouse, okay? That's not a friggin' dollhouse. Call it stereotypes. Yeah, of course you want us to call out stereotypes. What you call stereotypes are actually how women and men are different. You're just labeling the gender differences as so-called stereotypes to make them relative and subjective so you can then throw them by the wayside, and then impose what are essentially your own subjective stereotypes. It could also improve the status of women, oh, which is what you're really all about. You're not in any way improving, about improving the status of men. Uh, that's just a Trojan horse for you to introduce more feminism into society. The story continues by saying, researchers say the reason parents encourage daughters to play soccer become doctors, but not sons that take ballet or become nurses is that feminine equals lower status. <laughs> You said that yourself, but you've already said that as much yourself. You already said that. We need to raise our girls to be more like boys. You automatically elevated masculine traits above feminine ones, you idiots. You did it. Okay, so we have our next cringeworthy picture here where it says teach him to take care of himself. And of course, it doesn't have him fighting or anything else it has him using a a broom <laughs> more feminization make the man into the woman make him into the housewife give him female duties sure let's waste his potential pushing a mop some mothers raise their daughters but love their sons said jawanza kunjufu Always these people with these weird names from backward countries are supporting these crazy theories and author and lecture on educating black boys from Zimbabwe or somewhere like that with no accredited universities. <laughs> they make their daughters study, do chores and go to church, he said, but not their sons. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And where are you getting this? <laughs> what you mean is they care more about the daughters, so they pay more attention to the daughters and they neglect the sons. That's what you're really saying. I see. Well, I would agree with that. The article goes on to say, the difference is, uh, the difference shows up in the data. American girls ages 10 to 17 spend two more hours on chores each week than boys do, and boys are 15% more likely to be paid for doing chores, according to a University of Michigan professor. They should be. They should be paid for chores. Absolutely. That's how you teach children. And they probably asked to be paid, and the girls didn't. Boys are naturally more assertive than girls. They're more likely to ask for raises. They're more likely to ask to be paid for their work. Boys should be paid for chores. It's important that you teach your children, that you teach them the value of money, that you teach them the value of work, that you teach them if you work, you will be rewarded. I absolutely agree with that. I do not agree with having your kids work and not get some kind of allowance. What's wrong with that? Goes on to say, teach our son. That that's just tells me that the boys are smarter than the girls. That's all. Teach our sons to cook, clean, and look at... <laughs> you mean switch the gender roles and punish men for all those years they made women do these things. Well, now we're going to make men do them. <laughs> to be equally competent in the home as we would expect our daughters to be in the office. Right. Like this whole article is just... Is this real? 
is this, this can't be real. This has got to be some kind of satire, right? I mean, because it's so obvious. I, I really can't believe that this would be published. That something that's obviously biased and so obvious in what it intends to do and the message it tends to, uh, it intends to put across about switching the gender roles and it's so obvious in, in its bitterness and its hatred of men and, and its contrariness and its arguments. I, I really can't believe... I mean, I, this tells you, this is why I say it's the end of the world, that Western society has fallen so far that feminists and leftists feel perfectly comfortable with putting this kind of crap out there into the public sphere and not expecting it to be challenged. And guess what? It doesn't often get challenged, if at all. And if it is, you're shouted down and you lose your job and you get ashamed and ridiculed. Whew. What is the world coming to? Teach our sons to cook clean and look after themselves, to be equally competent in the home. What, what, uh, bitches, please. I live alone. Most men these days are living alone, and we have no problem. We actually are able to get our clothes clean, eat, and not die. We don't need women, and we certainly don't need women to teach us how to do any of these things because they don't know how to do any of them either. When was the last time a woman cooked, cleaned, or did anything that would be associated with a homemaker? Never. Certainly don't need lessons from women in things they, that they don't know how to do themselves in the office. Of course, let's flip the gender roles. Yet another example of their blatant pushing of a specific agenda, said Anne Mary Slaughter, chief executive of New America, a think tank. All these think tanks, by the way, are nothing more than socialist organisms designed to push socialism, to push cultural Marxism, nothing more. Anyhow, there is more to this which is essentially a feminist manifesto on how to indoctrinate boys and young men. That's all this is, and there's much more, and I will get to the rest in part two of this video, which I will be creating soon. I am the MGTOW Philosopher. Please like, subscribe, and donate to my Patreon if you would. You'll find a link in both the description and the last 20 seconds of this video. So have a good day, and take care.